What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Derailed Gaming. This is part six of my walkthrough of Miraculous Rise of the Sphinx. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Please make sure to subscribe. Click the bell when you do so, so you get notifications every time we post a new video and go live on Monday and Friday nights with live interactive gaming, where you tell me what to do. Also, thank you for hitting the like button, leaving comments down below, and sharing this out to your friends, family, and, of course, your enemies. That way, everyone knows where to find Derailed Gaming says uh, you've unlocked the power of smash for cat noir this power allows you to destroy some objects in the level that's pretty much cataclysm then we got to get five of these silk bits that are scattered around town and that's one right here it looks like well done marinette you scored us a clue that's right finding more of these and we can clue in on caterpillar let's go all right well, we got it Nino, let's check out, check in with Nino. Check him out if you want to. Well, I guess I should be psyched that the school is closed. But this whole thing about Chloe being abducted by that caterpillar is making me feel kind of nervous. Nino's not feeling too well. It's because you're so caring. It's because you're so caring, Nino. As much as I feel weird saying it, I'm kind of worried about her. You know what I mean? Chloe played with fire by dealing with Hawk Moth. No wonder she's in this situation now. But don't worry, soon Ladybug and Cat Noir will rescue her, and everything will come back to normal. You're right, Marinette. They always save the day, right? Right. All right. There you go. Maybe our friendship goes up a little bit with Nino. It does. And that makes two of them. The odds are good that the caterpillar has gone that way. Let's keep the good work. Uh, keep up the good work, Marinette. <laughs> We're talking to Tiki right in front of Nino. That's great too, isn't it? I guess technically Nino knew, knows the word Ladybug. It doesn't seem like this part in the story recognizes that though. One, two, three. We're getting close, Tiki. Yes, a few more of these, and we'll know where the caterpillar has gone too. Do we really need a cutscene every time? Alright, what are you doing? Can you feel it? There's something strange in the air. Alright, I guess there is. And we're grabbing another one. Well spotted, Marinette. The trail we've been following led us here. Lead us here? That's what it said. Something's telling me we're almost done isolating its trail. Come on, Tiki. Let's not... Was a minute? Or waste a minute? Wow, this was really... They must have really... They didn't even proofread their... Yeah, I'll stop. It looks like we got a break in this case, Detective Marinette. You managed to gather enough silk so we could isolate a trail. That's right, and it leads us right here at this metro entrance. The caterpillar must have gone through there. And that's where my service ends. I'll let Ladybug handle things from here. Ready when you are, Marinette? Tiki spots on! Um, or not. Let's talk to Roger. We have intel about the caterpillar crawling around here. Um, you know, I probably should go to Master Fu really quick and do whatever upgrades I need to do. Not that I want to drag this out for you guys, but I mean, we... If we're going to be going in at that, then we need to, uh... Is there a way across to this? Yeah, there is. And it's going to be right down the way here. We need to make sure we're at our maximum, uh, abilities, though. Because I feel like this caterpillar might be, uh... We might be getting to the climax of the game here. No Master Fu. Uh, maybe? Maybe? It said interact. Can I interact, please? Uh, you're so specific on this, but not the words you put in the, the text. All right. Brief loading screen. Pick whatever you need. Definitely heroes. Um, good on health points, it looks like. Let's check Cat Noir and see what the differences are. Cat Noir is maxed out on health points. With eight. Marinette's at seven. Or cat, uh, Ladybug. 
base damage. We should probably see his base damage. And then let's go ahead and get Marinette up to that on health points. And really, I'm trying to work on health points and base damage first because that's what I do the most with. And then we can start filling in the gaps from there. So let's hang on to the rest. That'll get us, uh, at, you know, at least a little bit more strength and such for us to be uh, ready for whatever this caterpillar has in store for us. But I just really, I figured we ought to maximize whatever we can. And then uh, we can do the rest. Assuming the caterpillar is not the last thing in the game. And we are really stuck on this loading screen, aren't we? <laughs> as quickly as we got to Master Fu. It's taking a minute to get back. And here we go. And of course, Marinette's got to do a little wave thing before we can actually control her. Spin around a little bit, which is weird, but... All right, let's start heading back here. We'll head down that station and see what we can do to uh, locate this caterpillar. Get caught up in some things here. Oh, why not talk to her? Why not? Oh, that's why not. It's not letting me. Why even put them there if they're not going to talk? I mean, to be fair, at least she didn't have, like, a talking bubble over her. I really should... really should be able to get over here somehow. Wait. Alright, let's go down a little bit. I think there's another crosswalk down here. Because isn't this where we saw Nino? I think it is. Yep! This will take us back past Roger again and down into the train station. Wait, you're about to leave the neighborhood? You won't be able to come back. Let's go find the caterpillar. I guess we already did that. Let's go find the caterpillar already. It's just now starting to warn me of that. It didn't do that earlier in the game. Like, hey, you know, this is it. We're going to fight. But at least we learned our lesson early on, as you saw a couple episodes ago, where uh, we died a few times in the uh, level because we weren't prepared. But Tiki wasn't giving us the warning either, so, you know, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, caterpillar time. Track down the caterpillar into the metro. Boom, there's some good ones there. down through here. Might as well check all this stuff at the beginning. Ah, yep, see, there was another one. Silk. Silk everywhere. Well, the good news is that'll lead us to the uh, caterpillar. Out of my way! There we go. Leave it at that. Let's. Back for this one, I guess. We'll climb the train if we can. There we go. Hit that and the macaroon. And this. Then we'll double back for this macaroon here. We're a little bit everywhere. Has dug a tunnel down the metro. That he has. The storyline's not too bad. It's not, I mean, it's a, it is a little bit better on the show. But at least we're getting some sort of progression now, and it does help a little bit with the gameplay to know there's some story to go along with it. Yeah, I know. I some of you are probably like, man, you're being nice. I know. Probably so. Okay, come on. Take him out. Take him out. Take him out. Boom, boom. Come on. Whoa. Look. All right. Change. One point for Cat Noir. Good lord. It was a little much. Anything else over here before These we take off? Look bouncy. Should we jump on it? Bouncy? Um, oh. Can I... 
jump, 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 jump. Oh, there we go. He was right. And now we can... What are we doing? Do I have to hold it in? Oh, I guess I do. Okay. There we go. It looks like it went that way, Ladybug. Down the sewers. Did I not get that? Oh, I did. Okay. Well, the sewer it is. I bet you I can't jump into the liquid. Oh, I can. I thought it was going to, like, hurt me or, you know, for, I don't know, force me to, you know, like, fall oh, off a building or whatever. Uh, impossible for me to use my cat sense of smell in such a stinky place. Ugh. <laughs> I seem to remember they were in the sewers at some point in the TV show. I could do this all day. That's a wrap. Now we'll use your ability again. Oh, I don't have to hold it in this time. I have to tap. Okay. Get that. Let's cut back a little bit and see if there's anything over here worth grabbing. And there is. That's about as far back as we can go. Let's grab this one that's over on this side here. Wherever it was. Now we're stuck. Grab that. Now there's a macaroon over here. Hopefully we don't, we don't get stuck again. Macaroon, baby. And, gosh, he gets stuck on that thing. That is weird. Bizarre. Looking around. Wow. He just keeps getting stuck. That's pretty annoying. Grab that one. That's a fiver. We'll grab this one. We'll bring us to 80. And, oh, yep. So I'm just go that way, so we'll cut this way and see what else is lurking back behind. Another macaroon. Grab this and head down. Gosh, this, you guys getting dizzy? <laughs> Another macaroon. And now, all of a sudden, it's just going to straighten up. Why? It has your name oh, Hello. How you guys do? That's all you got. Bingo. Now, 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 now. I don't have time for this. Uh, it seems like we're gonna have to though. Yeah, Man, yeah. we're making short nice. work of them now. Oh, we've done these upgrades. Bring it on. Wow. Wow. We That's really. That's all you got. Kind of how I feel. I'm like, dang. Those silk bits are anything. everywhere. head down through this way since it's going opposite of the arrow and make sure we grab whatever we can through here grab that and that do 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 nope. let's miss that one. Oh, I guess we did kind of go around a different way didn't we Five macaroons. I like it. Keep looking around. And anything over here? Oh, a whole nother area. Okay. Hopefully we can get over there at some point. Fight in a minute. I can't see anything. I could do this all day. Oh my gosh, now I can't even see Cat Noir. 
helps for their fellow men by caring for them regularly. Oh, a healer, huh? Maybe he was a healer, hopefully. Oh, dodge. And somehow he got hit. I could do that. this all day. You could, but I'm going to go back and get the things that I know I couldn't see but had to be here. And see? Again, if you guys haven't seen the other episodes, the right stick doesn't turn the camera like in most games. The left stick controls, but it controls the camera and what the camera does. Which is rather... Uh, makes it quite difficult. Can I not just jump in that? Must be too deep. I'm just gonna work off of that assumption at least. Stinks to be you. Stinks to be you. All right. Map, map, map. That's all you got. Must be. Oh, almost fell. Still not. Oh, maybe I need to jump across to get it. Yep. Jump, jump. And we need ladybug for this. And keep pulling it, I guess. Is that what we're doing? Ooh, that's a weird sound. Now we've got this over here that we need to jump on. Made it. And patiently take our way back. Hopefully, oh, it's going to raise us up. All right. And that is going to be 10 macaroons. I like it back to the entrance of this thing. We never did fall into the deep end. I, I assume it was deep. We'll just walk across this. Jump over. Ah, that's that one that we saw uh, through the the sewerway there. But yeah, what, what I was saying earlier about the right stick thing, I, I've got to walk like this through the thing because I can't see anything. Like, here, watch. I'll try and turn the right stick. It zooms in on her. There's no moving the camera around. I can zoom in on her. Or zoom in on Cat Noir, whoever I'm controlling. And then when the camera constantly moves like this, when I'm not prepared for it to or I don't want it to, it can either make you dizzy or it can... Um, throw you off your path, really. Yeah, it looks like this is deep. Jump, jump. Boom. And we can do this. With the weird squeaky noises. Squishy. Jump, jump. Jump, jump. Oh! Hey, come on. Jump, jump. Jump, jump. Jump, jump. That yeah, doesn't work that way, does it? Jump. Oh my gosh. Jump, jump. Jump, jump. And then over to this one. And more squishy. Squishy, squishy, squishy. What is she doing? Okay, stop. Boom. And jump. What? Why? Oh my gosh. What is this doing? Good lord. Jump. Alright. Jump. 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 Good lord. That was, uh, something. Hungry? How about a knuckle sandwich? Good thing it doesn't affect your health to... Oh, come on. To fall into that stuff. Bap, 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 bap. No sweat. Okay, I think it's telling us to go up that thing, maybe? Get that. I don't know which direction it's telling us to go. Maybe both ways lead there. 
but we might as well again explore kind of the uh, areas around here as tedious as it is but it gives you guys kind of an idea of the whole map layout that they've got here and it gets us 10 orbs right there that is a cat noir thing Let's see if he can do it yes he can let's open her up boom now we can go in there and we can get this jump over to this side see if there's anything there is this orb Let's see what he can do here pushes that open what does this get us oh, he's gonna keep pushing okay more macaroons looks like 10 of them and a whole bunch of orbs nice we'll be able to use those later on let's not do that yet because I think there was another orb up here maybe Maybe not. Must have got it. So, what does this do? It just takes us back out. Alright. I think there maybe it was an orb over here. There it is. That's the one I was thinking of. Climb over the trash. Why not? We're headed back this way now. Oh, there's another orb. When we get out of here... So we can go this way. But I do want to make sure... How far down do we go here? Because this is the other direction we could have came from. And I don't know how far we took... Ah, see? Bingo. The more orbs we get now, the stronger we'll be the closer we get to endgame. something in there? No, I, can't. I can't really do anything. All right. Got another fight here. How many are there? A lot. Can't you tell? I'm just too good at this. Are you now? Um, the arrow is telling us back. See where it takes us after we grab these guys and get stuck in a wall. Why not? And I guess this is the way. Oh, this camera driving me nuts. This has your name oh. on it. Yep, let's go. Let's go, bro. You missed. One point you missed. For Cat Noir. Let's keep going. We got another one here. How many are there? A lot. You want me to count them all for you? Cat Noir. I'm just too good at this. Oh, yeah. I know I am. All right, we'll go this way first since it's not where... Oh, the arrow is pointing this way. All right, so let's go this way then. Grab the rest of these orbs and anything else that may uh, reveal itself. Maybe another thing that Cat Noir can open up for us. Looks like just individual orbs here and there. Are we going backwards now? What is on? Oh. I'm not going to fall for it. Not this time. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Turn the camera for me. Turn the camera. Can we turn the camera? Thank you. Now what do we have? The arrow was just pointing down. Now it's pointing up. Now it's pointing right. Or left, rather. The other right. Get up to here. Like we're All making some progress is somewhere. And eventually we'll find the catapult. That's the idea. Ladybug, do something here. What are we doing? Oh, well, I didn't want to do that. Dog on it. Well, that's not cool. Can I not go back at least? Like it. 
That's not fair. All right. Cat Noir, do your thing. Hit that button. Do what you got to do. Okay. It doesn't tell me what that activates, though. I guess I'm going to do this now. Something tells me I need to go this way. Even though there's no arrow directing me. Why is the arrow not directing us? Is this ladder? No. Um. It really didn't... I mean, the button, what did that do, though? Explore the area and find a way to liberate the passage. Well, okay. Okay. So apparently there's a passage somewhere that we just opened up, would be my guess, and we got to find it. No arrow this time to tell us where. We're just going. I don't remember seeing any gigantic passage. Of may oh, maybe it was this way. Maybe? Ah... Uh, it looks like we found it. So there must have been something hold, holding us off or closing it off. I just didn't bother to notice or just thought of it as just something. I guess there's whatever. no reason to pull our punches anymore. All right. Move. There we go. We're great. You know, make you dizzy. Bap, 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 bap. Let's call it a day, shall nice. we? You know, there was one thing that said we had, like, special moves, but I don't remember ever being told how to use them. And I'm thinking of, like, the upgrades that we get from Master Fu. And one of them was, like, more points to special moves of some sort. This. All right, kitty. Oh. Holding it in, I... Bumped a button and it stopped. All right, enemies. You're in for a treat. Oh, are you or are they? I'm. Or are we? I'm just Judith. too good at Never. this. Let's follow the Silk Road and eventually we'll find the caterpillar. That's the idea. Okay, this must be the direction we're supposed to go. So let's uh, let's explore what we uh, left behind here. Or is this the right arrow? Which way's the right way? Again, no arrows to guide us at this point. Whoa! Get that one, get the other one, and then we'll jump over. Oh, oh. Yeah, I see a super jump thing over there, so that probably brings us back. Okay, is there one on this track here? Yes. On to this one. Seems like a lot of effort for singles. Boom. And one more to get. As soon as they pass paths again. He is kind of sliding on the platform, you see that? Jump, jump. Open sesame. All right. Yeah, let's open it up. Maybe I'm holding it. I'm doing things here. Oh, there we go. Maybe he wasn't in the right spot. Boom. That reveals more of this. Oh, and another. Five macaroons. And this should take us back to where we just were. Bingo. Left a macaroon there. How did I miss that? All right, now heading back this way. I think this way we haven't checked yet. Not much, but something. A couple. 
and then this is where we came from. So we're back around to where we were. Let's go ahead and head through here, which appears to be the right direction that we need to be going anyways. I did just get an auto save alert, so definitely must be the case. to get this to pull out. So it must reveal another special little area or it's uh, the progression of the game. No. Just gets us into here and there's stuff up there. Oh. We don't... Oh, Cat Noir has that ability. Nice. Boom. I think that's ten macaroons this thing is. It is... Actually, getting quite a bit of stuff on this, but there's also not a whole lot of things that I are. Do this oh. all day. Just One point for Cat Noir. Not a whole lot of uh, things we abilities we can't do right now, and I can't tell. It, it looks like with all the silk there, that's probably the way we need to go. So let's just finish exploring this a little bit. These macaroons that are laying around these orbs. Find out what else we have laying around here, if anything. Oh, we can do something with this. There we go. Bingo! Another one here. We got more? We got more? Bingo! More tedious stuff, but it's accomplishing things like more macaroons. Break it open and another orb. Macaroons. Gosh, it's so hard to see where we're going and what we're doing here. Just more stuff to break. I wish there was a faster way to do this than holding the thing down like that. We'll keep getting these. Boom. And another one here. I have a feeling we're going to miss something in this room. There's just so much to it. Another macaroon. So that'll probably make this an orb. Let's see if I'm right. Open sesame. No, it's another macaroon. All right. There was another one we left on the table over here. Let's grab that. Along with the orb that's here. That way's got nothing, but thank you, camera, for actually being nice and letting me see that direction. Another one, nothing there. Another orb here. Boom. We already did this. And let's just do one straight run back this direction. Yeah, see, I'm still grabbing more stuff. Is this the way we came from? It is because there's more silk here. All right, you know what? I think. I speak for the rest of us when I say good enough. Instead of dragging this out any further, let's get to this silly caterpillar. Down to you and me. And the other four. <laughs> That is. Thanks for watching. Oh. Well, I wanted to get that anyways. I noticed that mid jump. Someone like, needs oh, silk. man. Oh, I did get it. Okay. Bap, 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 bap. No pain, no gain. And I don't know what this is doing here. Oh, it's leading us somewhere. It's leading us to this. 
and not quite that but let's go ahead and jump back on it again now that we know what it is we can actually make the correct jump over and land on this thing and get that there's a ladybug thing here so let's switch to her i think i see what it's going to do for us gonna open a platform that we should be able to make it to get that one and five more and this will travel us back over to where we just where i take it it will now let's jump across i was born ready we got 89 of them it's not bad I'm willing to take the damage with these because there's only so Don't many. Don't make me laugh. Yep. Now, make the appropriate jump. Boom. All right, back this way, Ladybug. Boom. And onto that. We did it. This one's a little faster moving. Let's get I guess over there's here. There's no reason to pull our punches anymore. They say like the same three or four things when they go into battle. I think I said this on another episode, but I wish there was just a little more parody with it. Jump, jump. Made it. Let's get that while we do a jump. Jump! And barely make it there. Jump. Ooh. Little Acme jump there. Looney Tunes jump. How close can we get to the sewer without landing in it and still jumping? Oh, I messed up again. <laughs> okay. 94, we're getting there. Come on! Let's fight, bro. Move, move, move. Heads everywhere, making them dizzy. Nope, move. Boom, boom, boom. Over your head. Hit you a few times. Boom, move. Okay, okay. That takes Got him. Care of that. It does. It. Make our walk around here and grab a couple more, bringing us to 96 macaroons. Could we possibly get a second star on this level with 97 now macaroons? Be the first time we got more than one star if we did. So let's be careful and try and maximize how many of these macaroons we get. Which also tells me we must be right up on the boss if we're down to the last few macaroons. And it looks like we may not be getting any more. But, what is this here? Is that something Cat Noir can break? Oh no, we're walking right through it. That's great. Figure I'll take a walk around and see if there's any more of those macaroons or orbs. I doubt there are before we go to our, what would have to be our fight. I mean, this area just seems, yeah. Huh? There it is. Use your lucky charm. Huh? Now. Got it. Back off now, you two. Uh-oh. I won't let you harm my precious center monster. So you're behind it all, Mayura. Precisely. And it all ends here. Now give me your miraculous, or I'll have my caterpillar gobble you up in one bite. My Senta monster isn't fully evolved yet, but it's big enough to beat you. Okay, so... I guess there's no that's... reason to pull our punches anymore. So this... Oh, wow. So this is Hawk Moss assistant that you guys saw earlier in you the game. You don't want to be around when my Senta monster evolves, trust me. So just give me your miraculous. You're no match against my caterpillar. 
Just give me your miraculous. Come on. I don't know what to do. Here. Get the caterpillar. You maybe? thought I'd just sit here and watch? What can I do here? Get to the front of it. Maybe? Okay, so I can't be in front of it. You thought my feathers were just here for decoration? I don't know what I'm supposed to do to my era. Okay, does that do anything? No. <laughs> oh, get it. Okay, maybe I parry or I'm something. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Can I parry her attack? I don't have time for this. My Senta monster will crush you. Careful! What? My Senta monster will crush you! It's not Perry. Ha ha ha! You thought my feathers were just here for decoration? I. Yikes! Okay. You're no match against my caterpillar. Just, just give me going? your miraculous. You don't want to be around when my Senta monster evolves, trust me. So just give me your miraculous. Okay, so we avoided all of that. I'm gonna get you! <laughs> okay. Taste my feathers! I don't know what else I can do here. Oh, okay, I can hit. But when I hit it, it ends up hurting me somehow. Way to go! Oh, Careful! Boy, switch! Switch! My Senta monster will crush you. Okay. All right. So it misses and I hit it. I don't have I don't know time what that just for did. this ladybug and cat noir. Well, I don't either. I don't have time for whatever this dumb stuff is you're doing. Ha <laughs> You thought my feathers were just here for decoration? Oh, my. Come on. I'm supposed to hit it in the head, but I can't because I can't get close enough to it. Feathers without attack. apparently getting hurt. Oh, Jesus. You're no match against my caterpillar. Just give me okay, your so miraculous. He's going to do something this way now, right? Oh, okay. You don't want to be around when my Senta yeah, monster evolves. Away. Trust me. So get just away from give it. me your miraculous. How about you give me yours? You're no match your against my caterpillar. Busted Just miraculous give me that you your have miraculous. there. Take that. Cataclysm! Cataclysm! Time to go down there. Let's take a break and catch up when our batteries are full. Read my mind, milady. Hang in there, Chloe. We're coming for you. Hmm. Found it. You see, we only got one star still. I don't get it. What? What is two stars? I don't know. But there we go. I mean, we pulled it off. Cat Noir almost died.
But we still had a few hearts left with uh, Ladybug once we finally figured out what we're supposed to do there. And uh, we're able to bail out and... Uh, her, well, she bailed out, I guess. Myra did. Ah, oh, a few years back. Let's see what this is. Nathalie. Myra. How long has it been, Natalie? For years we have left no stone unturned on the entire planet. And still, no sign of the Ladybug or the Cat Miraculous. I guess it's pronounced I've Natalie. gone over all the possible scenarios about their location, Gabriel. But none of them have proven effective. It would seem that these two specific Miraculous don't want to be found. That sounds ridiculous, Natalie. But it stands to reason that none of our strategies have borne fruit. Not in the slightest. Rest assured, my motivation is intact, Gabriel. Still, I must admit I am really running out of options or ideas. I failed you. I failed your family, and for this I apologize. There's nothing I want more in this world than to see you and Adrian happy again. But I'm afraid it is beyond my competence, beyond your wealth, beyond your admirable will, and beyond anything you and I could ever do. That's not going to be acceptable Beyond. To Beyond. Don't apologize to me, Natalie. My trust in you is complete and unaltered. Besides, I'm the one who owes you. What kind of madness would I have drowned into if you hadn't been here all this time? Therefore, I'd like to offer you this pendant, Natalie. As a token of my gratitude and my affection for everything you've done for me and for this family. Gabriel. This is unexpected. I... I don't know if I can. Please, just accept it. Thank you, Gabriel. I will make sure I'm up to the trust you have placed in me. I don't know what will become of us from now on, but rest assured, I am still determined to find the missing Miraculous. I... I will double my efforts. I'll not rest until we get our hands on these Miraculous. I promise. There isn't much you can do, I'm afraid. You already played your part. And now, it is my turn to act. Beyond. I must go beyond my initial condition. Embrace the power that's already at my hand. So I can aim for more. Gabriel? Only a Miraculous can lead the way to another Miraculous. You said earlier that it seems the Ladybug and the Cat Miraculous don't want to be found, right? I did, but... So be it. Instead, I will go beyond my mere human limitations. Beyond what my soul holds me back to do. Beyond people's judgment. I'll do anything. Anything! Stop searching. Go beyond? What do you mean? I'm not following. Dark wings rise. I'll make it so that the miraculous come to me. And I know exactly how. Yep. Nuru, Dark Wings Rise. And then he becomes Hawk Moth, and then he starts terrorizing, so Master Fu gives the miraculous to Marinette and Adrian. And that's how we get where we are. So, interesting. A little bit of uh, backstory to things. Things that you probably would have pieced most of that together from watching the show, but just a little more dialogue. Something for the game. That's pretty interesting. So we're going to head back to Paris and see what's going on. Or the streets of Paris, I would assume. Yep. What have you done, Myra? Before you say anything, I just want to say that all of this, I've done it for you. I guess I should say thank you? Anyway, when were you going to let me in on that top secret plan you've been scheming? I admit I've been working alone. My idea was to give birth to the ultimate scent monster. Now that Ladybug and Cat Noir could never defeat 
One that Ladybug and Cat Noir could never defeat. And to do so, I needed you, but without being aware of my plan. Is that so? And what in the world could the ultimate Senta Monster manifest from? It manifested from your anger and frustration from the last time Mr. Pigeon was defeated by Ladybug and Cat Noir again. Oh, yes, that. I needed you to ignite the spark without being aware of my plan. Otherwise, it never would have worked. From your frustration, I could give birth to the Senta Monster, but it was still too weak. And this is where Chloe comes into play. I suggested you give her the ability to multiply people and have her use them as vessels to spread her negativity. That's right! This Chloe girl has always been keen on seeking revenge against Ladybug for not trusting her with the Bee Miraculous. However, she failed us yet again, just like the others. Of course she would fail. She was no match against Ladybug and Cat Noir, even as Klonica. Still, I remember you telling me it, were a, it would be a flawless plan, Myra. And I wasn't lying. I just needed Chloe to spread confusion, sorrow, and frustration into the hearts of every Parisian so the Senta Monster could feed on it. And it had quite a feast, trust me. And now that it takes Chloe captive, it can feed on the mother load. Chloe is somewhere safe, but you're right. She will help the Senta Monster complete its development. And once it evolves, it will be truly invincible. Chloe will have been useful after all. Even the weakest pawn can become a queen if well played. That's right. Finally, it will give us an edge over Ladybug and Cat Noir. I must admit, I'm impressed. This does seem flawless. And this is why I want you to run it to its completion yourself. Take control of the Senta Monster. Use it to beat Ladybug and Cat Noir, and let's end this once and for all. Don't be bemused, it's just the news. Following the Caterpillar's mayhem, Mayor Bourgeois has decided to lock down the whole city. It is strongly advised that we all stay in our homes until the situation is dealt with. In other news, it appears that a considerable amount of Parisians have been experiencing episodes of unusual stress and anxiety these last few days. This mass emotional breakdown may be connected to the Caterpillar's appearance, considering supervillain Myra made an announcement earlier today calling out Ladybug and Cat Noir directly. In her statement, Myra urges our heroes to surrender. Surrender before the Caterpillar evolves into something even they, quote, unquote, can never beat in a thousand lives. As of now, Paris' only hope is in this dire situation is Ladybug and Cat Noir. What are we going to do, Marinette? This situation is going from bad to worse, and I'm running out of ideas here. Ladybug can't surrender. There's got to be another way. You're right, Tiki. I think we should go find Master Fu for guidance. He might be able to point us in the right direction. And that's where we're going to go next episode. As we head to Master Fu's area to speak to him and see what he has for guidance. It seems like we're getting to the end of this as Hawk Moth is about to take care, take control of the Senna Monster, the Caterpillar, and uh, see where this leads us. So that may have been the beginning of the final battle that we just saw. Well, nevertheless, thank you everyone for tuning in to Miraculous. Um, uh, Rise of the Sphinx. I <laughs> almost forgot the name of it for a second. Uh, thank you everyone for subscribing and clicking the bell when you did so. That way you get the notifications every time we post a new video or go live on Monday and Friday nights with live interactive gaming where you tell me what to do. Also, thank you for hitting the like button, leaving your comments down below in the comments section, sharing this around to your friends, family, and even your enemies. That way everyone knows where to find Derailed Gaming. With that said, thank you again everyone for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care and cheers.